Hi, I'm Dan Roebuck, and I'm here to tell you what happened in Leesburg for the month of July. So July, uh, a lot of the month was spent with us wrapped up with budget workshops, which that's not finalized, but we've been spending a lot of time planning on what's going to happen uh, uh, for year 2019, and so we'll talk about that in the upcoming months. But uh, for July, we did ha have some pretty major events happen. Uh, first thing we did, and uh, we've done several of these, but uh, the city com uh, the city of Leesburg, we reached a deal with the uh, East Leesburg Community Development Corporation, which is a nonprofit, and uh, we took a house that we'd acquired through code enforcement liens, and uh, you know, completely falling apart, uh, not habitable at all, and and we donated it to the uh, the Community Development Corporation. And what they do is they come in, they provide all the labor, they fix it up, they they paint it, they put in new windows, whatever it takes to, to get that house habitable again. And uh, then what they do is they will sell it to a first-time home buyer, and there are actually provisions that require them to do so. They work with our housing department, and it's really a win-win for all par parties and a, a great example of how the city can work with local nonprofits to accomplish goals, in this case, getting people into homes for the first time. Uh, another thing that happened, of course, we had our groundbreaking on the new community building. That's going to be a really exciting project, and that is, of course, right over Venetian Gardens. It'll be across from Martin Luther King Island, and the uh, opening date is scheduled for July 4th, 2019. Uh, we also, uh, well, I shouldn't say we, but uh, an investor purchased the Stay and Save Inn. That's been a, a hot topic because it's really an eyesore right on 27 across from Ramshackles, and the city has worked diligently behind the scenes. Uh, uh, assistant City Manager Mike Rankin and um, City Manager Al, Man Al Minner and staff to, to get that uh, going because there were some code enforcement liens and uh, I think there's some environmental issues and uh, an investor finally came in and they bought it, they're rehabbing it, they're completely gutting it and uh, so that should make a nice addition and really kind of clean up that area. Uh, another thing uh, that happened is, uh, and this is really big, is that we were able to form a partnership with the school board and we're going to help provide uh, resource officers. So these will be police officers that will go in the two elementary schools in Leesburg. So Beverly Shores and Leesburg Elementary will have Leesburg police officers there. And of course, uh, they're, they're predominantly there for security. But by partnering with the city, we're able to make sure that we don't just put an entry level officer, but we'll be putting them through training. Uh, it may be DARE or something uh, equivalent. So these will be actually more resource officers as well. So they'll have the training to, to interact with the, with the kids and really form that bond and serve as a community liaison, uh, all while providing school safety. So that's a, a, a real exciting thing uh, that, that we were able to do. And uh, then finally, uh, upcoming on August 10th is the teacher and staff appreciation breakfast uh, for the Leesburg schools. And this is something that's actually put on by the Leesburg Chamber of Commerce, but the city of Leesburg is a major sponsor. And what, what this is, is a breakfast for all the feeder schools that go into Leesburg High School. So uh, there are a lot of them. And, and we serve breakfast and have a pep rally for all the teachers and all the support staff. And then all of them get to go home with door prizes. And our goal is that all of them will also get to leave with a ream of paper. And, and while that sounds a little bit silly, uh, the teachers actually don't get as much paper as they need through the year. So if, if they want it, they're frequently having to come out of pocket and, and buy paper for the students. So uh, the chamber and the city w and other businesses, we, we've come together to try to help that. And of course, if you want to participate in that, Ernie Morris has agreed that they're providing paper at cost. So for $25, you can uh, get a, it's a whole box of paper and, uh, and, and a couple other little school supplies. Uh, so $25, you can Find out more information at leesburgchamber.com or you can give them a call at 787-2131. I had the opportunity in July to attend the uh, celebration of the 65th anniversary of the Korean War Armistice and that happened at Veterans Park in Leesburg. And, and that park, if you don't know, it used to be called Fountain Lake Park. It's right across from City Hall uh, by the Armory. And I, I really would encourage you, if you haven't been, to go, go check out that park. Uh, there are memorials for, for the different uh, servicemen and women uh, for, for different conflicts we have and, and wars. And then we also have the Huey helicopter. Um, it, it, it's a really special place. The different veterans groups uh, led by uh, uh, Mr. Don Van Becca put a lot of time and effort uh, in, into building that park and making it something to, to really honor uh, our, our veterans. And so I'd encourage you to, to check that out. It's a real, real uh, jewel for Leesburg. And uh, with that, Look forward to speaking to you next month. I'm Dan Roebuck, and that's what happened with the city of Leesburg in July. Thank you.